live from the Key TV studio to your TV and on the web, it's Homework Hotline. Go to homeworkhotline.tv to ask your math or science questions. Hi, welcome to Homework Hotline. I'm Ken Pinkerton. I'm a retired science teacher from Zane. And I'm Beth Baker, and I'm a math teacher at Mac Middle. And Ken and I were colleagues for many years when I taught at Zane. So. And so we're here to uh, answer your science and math questions. And we have a wonderful new twist this year, which is? If you go to um, YouTube and you go to homeworkhotline.tv, you can um, join the live chat. So we are um, streaming right now on the web, and you can also watch us live on channel 13. Right. So um, I would love to answer some math questions if you've got them, and the way the show works is the science teacher brings tons of amazing stuff for us to play with, and the math teacher does math once in a while. So there you go. It's, it's fun. And you yes. always ask awesome questions. So okay, <laughs> good. You make me think. <laughs> <laughs> so on, on Tuesday we started uh, messing around with bubbles, and, and uh, just a little review. Um, the, the way that bubbles work is that um, the bubble solution um, is a special chemical that, that has uh, part of it, one half of it is, is uh, likes water and the other side doesn't. It's called hydrophilic and hydrophobic and uh, it traps a layer of water in between and um, because of the properties of water it becomes very stretchy. And so the reason that bubbles pop is because they actually dry out and, and that water goes away. Um, and there's all kinds of neat bubble solutions that you can either buy or make. Um, that makes some really cool bubble solutions. I so love this. It's so um, much fun to play with. So some neat things that, that uh, this is actually a, a one that's made of a, um, a with a, a Shane Shines who teaches in um, McKinleyville. At uh, Morris. Hi, Mr. Sines. Um He gave me this recipe, and the secret ingredient is called J Lube. It, it's, a, it's a veterinary um, lubricant that they use for delivering cows and and. Oh. Um, Huh. Um, in other apparatus where, where uh, if veterinarians need to do um, work on horses or cows or anything else. Uh -huh. um, and so look online. I couldn't find a really good recipe for that. Uh, but a regular recipe, that one of the best ones that I knew before, this one was from the Exploratorium. And I wrote it on the board. So um, and so right it's here. just two-thirds cup of, of Dawn dishwashing soap. Um, and I really hi highly recommend Dawn. I've done other things, w and it's the best. Um, it's my endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> a tablespoon of glycerin, um, and if you don't have that, you can use corn syrup from home, and then a gallon of water. And then if you let it sit around uh, with a cap open, uh, it gets better with age. And um, is that because that the water evaporates a little bit? I do you think? Yeah, I think. Well, I think uh -huh. some of the chemicals that are, might be in the soap that that uh, or in the glycerin uh -huh. um, that would interfere with it um, actually. Um, go away. That was cool because it skirted the, it didn't pop it on the did. screen. So that's something yeah. about that. So, um, and then there's all kinds of neat things you can do from bubble domes to you can blow bubbles like this. I um, could just blow bubbles all day <laughs> long. I'm, I'm at level one on the whole uh, bubble game here. Right. Uh, I'm going to level up before we're done here today. But we'll show you some tricks yeah. th that and we, then, we tried um, last time. You can go to YouTube at Homework or just homework hotline hotline TV, TV. Yeah. either way. Yeah. And it works for me better on my computer if I go to YouTube first oh. and then homeworkhotline.tv second. Okay. Um, but I think you can get there directly either way. And yeah. uh, if you want to join the chat, that would be wonderful. And uh, remember to subscribe. My students say that you're supposed to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button. And it's like over here somewhere. So I say hit the subscribe button. I don't actually know where it is. So I'm guessing. Anyway, okay. so there you go. <laughs> Um, but okay, I, we started we showing really you, um, and I've got some better solutions. So you can make uh -huh. your own bubble wands if with anything, basically oh. wire. You, uh -huh. you have a gold coating. Anything cleaner. that makes a loop. Um, and uh, but if you have something fuzzy like this, um, what do you call this? A pipe, pipe cleaner. cleaner. Uh -huh. um, then it kind of holds a little bit more for you. And then you can do bubble tricks with. Oh. Um, so the the your pipe cleaner just becomes your holder, and you can blow a. Oh. A got it. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Use loop. this one. That's oh. better. Okay. Because um, that other stuff's too sticky. Okay. Um, and if you blow a bubble. Oh my gosh, it holds a lot. The pipe cleaner is fuzzy and it holds a lot of liquid, which is kind of cool. you can make caterpillars. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're going to make caterpillars. Okay, here we go. And we tried this on Tuesday, but the bubble solution was actually too sticky. So this is just good old out of the bottle bubble solution. Oh, look at that. Uh, from the Dollar Tree. Here we go. And it's always a good idea to have a tray or something. 
because we are making a horrendous mess here, by the way. One of my favorite parts of Homework Hotline is apparently years ago they made a rule that the science teacher yeah, does all the clean cleanup. Right. And I don't know why that's a rule, but I like it a lot. And then um, another one is um, if you have two and you can put bubbles around the... Oh my goodness, look at that. Outside. Uh-huh. I'm going to try and copy you. Whoops. If I you can get hard. six of them. Uh-huh. Um, so you have one, two on top, and four around the outside. You get uh -huh. a cube inside. Oh, well, I see a square. Yeah. Oh, right. A square, and then if you blow uh -huh. where the, the cube is, you can make a square. And it shows the oh. different pressure, pressure. Oh, so and I have a pentagon. Yeah, yeah and you have oh, one. So now that. go in there and blow right where the pentagon okay. is, and you Let's get it. And uh, remember to keep your straw um, uh, dipped in the bubble soap right. so it doesn't pop when it goes in. You'll get a pentagonal column or a prism, I guess. Oh, gosh, I missed. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to try again. Here I go. I still have a pentagon. Should I try it? There it is. <gasps> oh, nice. I made Ooh, a pentagonal prism. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Look at that. So five, wow. five on each side. That is amazing. That. So it's a little hard to see inside on the camera, but there is a five-sided thing. It looks kind of like a birdhouse shape, sort of, right. uh, in the middle. Wow. That's okay. Cool. I'm and super impressed with us. If you do the okay. same thing uh, and you blow. Uh huh. Oh, and you can spin it. You can make a calliope or what is that called? A windmill? Um, what are those little kids' toys where you are waving back and forth and they. A pinwheel. That, yeah, or um, what's the one where the horses that go around? Carousel. Oops, oops. There we go. Good. Nice. Um, we are giving you viewers plenty of opportunity to fill in our sentences since we can't seem to remember any of our vocabulary today. <laughs> so if you want to join the live stream and join the chat and um, just fill in uh, the blanks in our sentences, that would be awesome. Right. <laughs> since it took us, what, six tries to get up to the word carousel here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm super excited. I'm so gonna make. I'm gonna try and make my pentagon okay. bigger and see if I can all just right, so can make it come all the way out and just. Well, and then we'll try the trick, uh, which I was gonna show in a minute anyway. So let me. I've got a, a theater fog machine here, um, which I'm gonna try to blow in. Of the course box he does. So we don't fill. All right. I did get. Oh, it's popped now. I did get a rather humongous a penta pentagonal prism of some sort, and so that was super fun. So I filled a box full of theater fog. Oh, so now I think we're going to play with the smoke machine and bubbles because it does make it a little easier to see them. And then okay. if you can try and make a pentagonal. Well, I'll do it in here and you can see. Okay. And we'll move it aside so the camera can get and out of it. If the camera can see, th then we yeah. can show where the, the fog is. Yeah. And then oh, you that's can amazing. make neat shapes, uh, which oh we talked yeah. about a little bit. Uh -huh. well, let's try it with that. Okay. Great. So that's just a, a, a square or a cube. So it's a cube made out of wire with a handle yeah. on the corner, so any old kind of wire. When I was a kid, we always had um, animals, and so there was always baling wire around. And I don't know if modern kids have baling wire to play with or even wire coat hangers, but just fooling around with wire and learning how to bend it, I think probably um, uh, if you go to Michael's and get pipe cleaners, you could do an right. awful lot right. with those, and they're pretty readily available. Right. And then, Ken, should I blow a hole in the middle? Well, let me try and get... Oh fog in there. Of okay. course, whenever I want the fog machine to work, it turns off. <laughs> we have the whole studio completely um, filled fog. with smoke from the smoke machine uh, right before we went live, so it was quite <laughs> dramatic in here. Well, we'll come um, back. Let's see if yeah. I can get it from, from the okay. box. Okay, and I'm going to try and blow a shape in the middle here. Well, let me see if I can fog it. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now I think oh, you can see the... Oh, look at that. So it's got fog in the middle. Right. It's amazing. Whoops. And then as it okay. pops, it does different shapes. Yes. Oh, wow. And so you can see. Um, and I think what's happening with the surface tension is it's always making the most efficient possible right. space. Is that right? Yeah. Um, so, for example, when you blow a bubble, a, a sphere is the most efficient way to, um, uh, to cover a particular volume, which is why I think fruit and stuff is round also. So nature ha is on to this trick. So okay. it's the least amount of surface area for the greatest amount of volume. So uh, there's some wonderful math called the cube square laws, which tells us why we don't have... Um, why we don't have things like um, humongous bugs and stuff like that because Oops, of that. Oops, try it again. Okay. Sorry. All right. So there's some great math. Oh, one it did made. it itself. I'm try Look and pop at that. It and whoops. Okay. Now we're going to okay. try and fill it up with. Oops. This might not. We'll try it again. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to keep trying and trying. This is live TV. That's yeah. the. Okay. Well. Oh. Oh. <gasps> that's amazing. And then so you can Look see the cube that. there. It's incredible. <gasps> That is so cool. So I've seen some of the professional bubble blowers, and there uh -huh. are people out there, so here's another so one. So I think maybe uh, at home you could try a turkey baster, but is there a safe way for students to 
produce some sort of vapor if they wanted to try something like this at home? I don't know. Like I know that the, the first guy I ever saw do it actually uh, uh, was a guy time. named Tom Nadia, and um, and he actually used cigarette smoke. So don't do that at home. Oh, yeah. And then Tom uh, is still out there blowing bubbles. He wrote a book, uh -huh. too. There's a cool book called the Tom Nadia Bubble Book uh, that there shows a lot of So as we pop each one separately. Yeah. Um, oh, and look at that. It's made a perfect lens. Nice. Wow. Okay. And then here it goes. <gasps> Very Boom. Good. <laughs> okay, that was fun. And then um, right. I want to show you how to do some things too. How to okay. make uh, a wand. This is one that, that uh, you can make easily at home. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just, an, um, and the way you can do it is if you just have some simple stuff from home. Um, so this is the easiest one is if you just have a couple pencils. Okay. And um, I had some, uh, and you take some paper clips. Okay, and you're going to attach those clips. on there. Okay. So what I did on, on that one, you can see I just oh, wrapped it around and around with, it, yeah. with, uh, with string and then uh -huh. hot glued the ends of it. Okay. So you have two of those and then you just need a weight on uh -huh. a string. Oh, just a washer? Yeah. And yeah. so if you have those things, then you can make this, this very big. Um, you kind of hold it up. And this works really good outside, especially. Oops. Especially if there's a little bit of a breeze going right. and you can get the breeze behind and you and it you will blow it, the bubbles. Let's see if we can, if, if, okay. the, if the smoke machine will cooperate with this now. Ah, uh, okay. So now let's I have try. a perfect triangular film of bubble soap. It's a little bit hard to see, let's but see. it's there. I don't know if I turn okay. it. If you can. And then okay. Let's see if we can get a bubble. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> let's try another one. Okay. <laughs> That's a really good <laughs> smoke machine. Okay. We're going to try again. I'll try and turn it off faster this okay. time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. He's Here a little heavy handed with the smoke machine. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Nice. So now we have, oh, they're beautiful. Look at that. And then the cool thing is if oh. you pop them, you get the, oh. the fog. And if oh. we can capture one. Oh, it one. just missed the counter. Nope, Here. it's going. Get a okay. wand. Oh, uh, the camera <laughs> will follow it down. Okay. Oh, that was an amazing bounce. Let's do that again. Okay. And then what we want to do is try and catch one uh, with your wand. Oh, and okay. And touch in the hole and the smoke will come out the hole. Oh, okay. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> and hopefully um, we can see because we are definitely filling the studio with smoke. Okay. And, and I'll, hold it, I'll hold it a little bit. Hi, Elijah. Hey, Eli. Right. Look at what we're doing. Okay. Oh. Oops. Okay, wait. Okay, we got go. a little fired up. Ha oh. uh -huh. Smoke machine, we're fired up. Okay. <laughs> um, I can't see anything. See. So. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to back off a little bit, too. Okay. Oops. Oh, okay. Too much. Okay, right. we're going to keep going, people, because it's worth the fun. Okay, I think a little bit of distance. Okay, okay yeah, we're a good. Bit farther yeah. back. Okay, there we go. Now pinch it. Nope. Oh, nope. I didn't go fast enough. Okay, that was okay. me that time. Okay, can, uh, we can't see anything right, right now, now, so I hope you guys are there. Okay, here we go. Okay. There's nice. a beauty. Okay, now, now I'm going to catch, catch it. it. If you can. Okay. Just on the top. Around. Okay, I'm going to try and catch it on the top. Ooh, almost. There you go. Ooh, ooh, oh. ooh. Okay, now touch the, in the middle of the okay, hole. Okay, so now I have the top, and now I'm just going to pop the top. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Let's that do that again. That was super fun. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to try and do... If it doesn't get the highlight reel, then if, I don't know. <laughs> if we're we're going to try that again. It hit my <laughs> highlight reel. Definitely. Although my classes were fabulous today, so those of you who are out there listening, Eli plus whoever, if Eli's there, Ethan probably is too. Anyway. Yes. Oh, you got All right. I'm sorry. Here we I, go. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got a little baby one this yeah. time. All right. Oh, well, that's amazing, Oops. too. All right. Let's go again. Okay, I just want to do this for half an hour. Um, <laughs> please remember, if you uh, join the we live chat. We also do bar mitzvahs. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do. We, we do weddings and birthday parties. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so fire that clown that you hired. <laughs> okay. Oh, Oops, too, too much. much. Okay. I think we need a little more distance. We did better that yeah, that time. So. Okay. I'll try to Let's see. Away. Also, um, if you go to homeworkhotline.tv and type in your math homework problems, I will take a break and do your math for you too. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we got we're, we got a cold machine. Oh. So we'll have to. Oh, <laughs> it it, <laughs> so it blew a little tiny smoke ring. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let it <laughs> cool down. Okay. This machine is temperamental. So okay. Are we all of them give it a minute. Right yeah, we'll have to all right. Minute, so. We have lots of other fun things. We're going to come back and do that again. So the um, soap bubble filled with smoke and then see right. if we can release it from the top. Uh, we will definitely try that again. And we're talking about shapes. You can do triangles and they, they make Ooh. really neat things. So this one okay. I just did a, a coil. Um, there, there's an old Dover book that actually I think is a reprint from the 1800s. Uh huh. And they have all kinds of neat things. So this is one that uh, uh, is like a corkscrew. Eli, I would love to destroy your 
dad's brain with math. Why don't you send me an equation and we'll do it. How's that? Let me get you a <laughs> straw that's not all. I keep getting excited and dropping my straw so it's soapy on soapy both on ends. Both and um, You'll so be blowing smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be blowing bubbles all by myself. And so that makes a... Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that great? Yes, it's amazing. And then I love the way when it's down to a single one, it's a perfect uh, disc. Yeah, lens. Yeah, yeah, lens yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. a lens. That's amazing. So that is really cool. We have a How nice fun layer that is. of fog in the thing. So, okay, let's yeah, see. we do. The studio is good. It has, has a beautiful um, weather system in it right now. All right. All right, we're going. Come on. Maybe. <laughs> Are you ready okay. for, for another big one? Okay, we're, we're going to try our amazing trick again here. Let's I'll be see. farther away, I think. Okay. Uh, we might take a math break and do a backwards equation, too, just okay, so sweet. Eli can impress his dad here. All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to catch it, I think. Ooh, nice. Oh, oh. oh shucks. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Okay, I'll run around the camp. Okay, will it do it again? Okay. Okay. I think I said this on Tuesday. When my kids were little and there was something fun, they would yell, again, and we knew we had to do it a million times. Right. That's where I am right now. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to run around. It is amazing. I'm going to catch it. Catch it on. Oh, 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 oh. Didn't get oh. <gasps> Darn it. It, is it looks like a jellyfish. It's what amazing. What I'm trying to do is let's try it. Right. Oh, one more time. Okay. Let's try it. Um, There's always catch one it on more the time. bottom with this and then oh, okay. on, on the top with your other one. Okay. So here we go. Going to see if we can do it this okay, time. Okay. okay. Oh, it's really little. It's, um, you know what? They're surprisingly oh, nice. heavy. Yeah. And then let me try mine. Okay. Okay. And then, well, we, we got it captured. Oh. oh. <laughs> we need more practice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to do a reverse? <laughs> uh, we're going to go like this for a little while. Yeah. There's another <laughs> neat thing that, 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 that's really cool with bubbles is um, uh -huh. you probably noticed that they, um, so for this one, you just get a cup. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna. I brought a brush this time, so I wouldn't get my fingers so messy. Um, and you, you've probably seen if you're out on the street or you blow uh -huh. bubbles, you get the beautiful colors. Yes. Oh, and Eli's got a uh, math question for us oh too, good. so I'm gonna okay. set that up. So I hope you guys got the exploratorium recipe. And uh, Eli, you if you didn't, read it to you? if you didn't re give me a math problem, I was gonna do a backwards equation to really blow your dad's mind. But we'll do this one instead. Okay. okay so yes, please. Five over four. Okay. Plus seven over sixteen. Oh, I like this one because, and this is one of the homework problems tonight, by the way, I believe. And what's nice about this is we only add things if they match. So to get all algebra e on you, um, if we had three apples plus four apples, we could add them together to get seven apples, and this is called combine like terms. And fractions have the same thing, which is fourths and sixteenths are not the same. We don't add them until we've renamed this guy. So another name for five fourths, so this is a point on the number line, five fourths. And another name for this exact same location, if I multiply top and bottom by four, like this, is twenty sixteenths. And this is exactly the same number, it's just renamed. So five fourths and twenty sixteenths are equivalent to each other. So I'm going to go twenty sixteenths plus seven sixteenths. And now I can combine like terms. So this is like twenty apples plus seven apples. Okay, it's given us that same idea of combining like terms again. So now I'm going to have twenty seven over sixteen. And when you get to high school in algebra, you're going to leave this fraction in this form. But if you're in sixth or seventh grade, you're probably going to simplify this fraction. So this is the same as 16 over 16, which is 1, uh, 16 plus, uh, what is that, 16, and 11 over 16. So this is 1. So this is the simplification and y. So there's a big cartoon 1. So this simplifies to 1 and 11 sixteenths. So either way is fine. Also, if you're fooling around on Desmos and you type this in, you can watch it all happen there, too, because I really want them. Oh, OK? Nice. Yeah. OK. Um, if we run out of bubbles, I'll do a backwards equation also. So thanks, Eli. OK. OK, so what I have set up here is I, I made an ice cream cone out of this. And we're going to ask our Cracker Jack uh, camera crew to come in and do a close up on this. OK. And I put a black background to try to uh, absorb some of the light. So if they can come in really close, I think if you do that extra lens that you can pop into place, um, you can get a super. Sure, there's just thing. an extra lens. And you guys just pop it into place, because that's what we asked for. Um, um, and now yeah. what are we looking for? And then you, so you can see the starting color. So you can come in even tighter. Um, Possibly. You start seeing different rainbow colors. 
And then the really amazing part is uh -huh. that you'll start seeing black. A and what's happening there is the light is actually canceling itself out. Uh, huh. there, there's a and it's black with a black background, so maybe it's harder to see? I don't know. Um, yeah, they have to come in really tight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, okay. if you watch that, uh, the hard part is the studio lights are pretty bright. Uh -huh. uh, let me put red behind it. That might okay. see if that works any better. We're going to try different color uh, backgrounds. Ooh, um, it jiggled. Okay. And so we're trying to see the rainbow, and then yeah. we're trying to see the rainbow colors change on the surface. Right. Is that so what we're looking for? Oh, it fine. went away. Okay. We'll try one more time. Okay. Um, so you just blow a bubble so on the, the surface. Recent, uh, so even that part's kind of fun, right? If you just have a cup full of soap bubbles and you just use your straw, you can just yeah, build that beautiful, huge yeah. meniscus shape that goes right. over it. Okay. Um, and then if we can come in again really tight. Mm -hmm. the, the reason you see different colors, the layers, is because of the thickness. The, 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 that you'll notice, if you get really close, if you watch a bubble, you'll see that it's uh -huh. really pooling down. Okay. Um, and you'll start seeing the different colors. And then um, th the neat thing is you'll start seeing, like on the top, it'll actually start turning black. Huh. Uh, and that's because the, the it's so thin that the light rays are interfering with each other and they're canceling each other out. Huh. Um, Try it without the yeah, red. Just okay. without there we yeah, go. Oh, okay. yeah, that's so a little that better, isn't it? Even better. Okay, yeah. good. I so think that's my sweater. You can see at the top sweater. it's becoming right. thinner. Uh-huh. Um, and the, the, the bubbles are going down. And then you'll start seeing, uh, it, it's, it's odd, but you'll see like blotches of black. I'm almost seeing that at the top because yeah, I'm seeing little blotches of purple right. and green. And so you're seeing the... And so yeah, and there at the top you'll see uh -huh. the little black forming. And that, oh, yeah. that's actual okay. light interfering with light. Huh. Um, and you'll see the, the blues on the side with the different thicknesses. Uh -huh. And it also indicates when it's about to pop. When you start seeing those, the, it's getting so thin that it should pop. So it'll just moment. collapse under its own weight in just a minute? Is that what's going to yeah, happen? Yeah, it should, it should And pop. in the meantime, are we seeing a rainbow because it's refracting the light? Is it, s is it scattering the well, light the, that hits it? Th or? The light's bouncing off both layers. And then okay. so as it bounces off the inner layer, it actually inter inter interferes uh -huh. Ooh, with, good sky the, cam. Um, with the uh, light that's coming off of it. Uh-huh. Um, and... Yeah. Um, now it's being so stubborn. So we're watching bubbles Ken, pop. Ken has just um, <laughs> Ken has just blown the strongest bubble in the planet. <laughs> by the way, I tried to use yes. the, the cheap stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll try it at home. It, it is okay. just amazing, and it's because uh -huh. of look up uh, light interference, and um, and it's called uh, total light interference. Um, and Got it. Where you can actually have light that makes black. That and makes uh, black. it looks like Eli is letting me do all of his homework tonight. So right. thank you for that. Uh, let's see here. And uh, let's see, is it 24 and 3x and 3? So 24 equals 3x plus 3. So this is exactly the same as saying 24 is equal to 3 times something in a big empty box plus 3. And lots of younger kids have worksheets that look like this. And then when we grow up the whole process, what we do is we, um, instead of saying 3 times big empty box plus 3, is we put in a variable here. And this is not multiplication, it's the variable x. Could be any variable. So we want to know 3 times what plus 3. So if I go like this, I can go, oh, that must be 21, because 21 plus 3. So if I take out the 3, this is being a little more formal about it, then I can say, well, 21 must be 3 times x. And so now if I go, oh, well, um, 3 times what makes 21, I know I have a 7. And uh, this is multiplication, by the way. We don't usually bother to show it. And so if I unmultiply by dividing, we'll get x equals 7. And then we can check. So the way we can bring that back again, haha, -ha, bubbles are coming in. <laughs> Excellent. Instead of being, um, what is it when somebody, uh, instead of being photobombed, we're being bubble we're bombed, bubble which bombed is right. way better. Yeah. We can put the 7 in here, and then we can check it. Is 3 times 7 plus 3 really 24? Yes, it is. So not only have we solved it, we've also checked it. So that is fabulous. OK. Oh, and now we have bubbles coming <laughs> in. Oh, on the <laughs> look what you did. All right. Thanks a bunch for that one. <laughs> and by the way, we don't usually say simplify on those. We usually say solve. So um, we usually simplify when we're tidying things up, and we solve when we have a left and a right side, and we actually know what x is at the end. Okay. Um, I've seen college students get mixed up on it. Am I simplifying or am I solving? So, so stopping to think about those. The equal sign is a big indicator that you're solving? Usually. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Very anyway. Cool. Yep. Yay. Right. We did eighth grade math. Woohoo. Woo All good. right. So and now I want to blow some bubbles. Do we want to try? Uh, we want to try okay. one with this? Okay. Okay, we're, we're running out of time, but yep. we'll we'll see see if this is a better vehicle oh. to uh, try. Okay. Try it oh out. yeah, and I'll hold it a little bit away this yeah. time too. Okay. Oh. Oop. Okay. Go ahead. Almost. Oh, 
there Ooh, we go. Ooh, that's a beauty. Then you should be able to catch that one. Oh, oh that was awesome. Again. Right, again. <laughs> All right. Forget the science. I just want to blow big smoky ah. bubbles. Oh, we've got, just got a bowl full of smoke and bubbles. Let's hold it up higher. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh there yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Because I keep forgetting that it's heavy. Yeah. Oh, Oops. nope. I missed it. Okay, we're going again. Okay. And well, here we go. Thank and you for tuning in today. Oh, we got a baby one. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah, <laughs> I think it's operator error on the part of the bubble driver, by yeah, the way. Ah. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Shucks. <laughs>